If you were building an app in 2024, what I'd have to recommend you is Pocketbase. The reason I love Pocketbase is because it allows you to do all of your authentication, mailing, and pretty much everything that you need to run a proper backend, all set up in one. It's got routes, it's got a CRUD API, and it's got extensibility through Pocketbase hooks. What's up guys, my name's Sam, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about why you should use Pocketbase if you're looking for a good backend solution. So when I first started building apps in Pocketbase, I didn't really know what I was doing, but the docs made it so easy for me to actually find out how to use Pocketbase. So as you're looking at the docs, you're gonna be able to see that you can basically see all of the different routes, all the ways that you can update, all of the ways that you can authenticate as a user, and all of the different ways that you can search through all the data. And this is really powerful because most uh, backends don't have this out of the box. There are things called ORMs or object relational managers, which are basically a wrapper around a database, which allow you to do what you get out of the box with Pocketbase. But a lot of those things are quite heavy handed and most of the features that you'll be using if you're just building apps like I am, you're, you're never gonna really use those. The other huge thing which made me switch to Pocketbase in the first place was looking at other solutions like a Superbase or uh, other ORMs that were out there. I just wasn't able to find anything that was gonna be easy to self-host. Pocketbase included user authentication out of the box, so I could hook up Google, Microsoft, pretty much any identity provider, and it was really simple to set that up. The other thing that Pocketbase gave me out of the box was things like if a user signs up, then they get an email. If a user resets their password, they get a password reset email. And all of this email stuff is really easy to set up. For me, it really sped up my development process when I was just trying to get an app out there and there's so many decisions that you can make if you're trying to build an app like how do you even do those things what's a robust way to do those things what's a secure way to do those things and a lot of this is abstracted away from you by using pocket base the difficulty that a lot of people have with pocket base though is because it's something that you can self-host, a lot of people don't know where to host it if they want to host it. And a lot of people don't have the skills in order to actually be able to host their own backend. So they need to use a provider. And there's two providers which are really, really good for this. Um, one is Pocket Host, and that gives you unlimited uh, instances of, of Pocket Base. And if you're just starting out, I think it gives you one, one or two uh, free instances, which you can just continue scaling. It's really generous the way that they do it. And um, yeah, I, I know the guy who's, who's behind it and he's really, really passionate and involved in his Discord community. So that would be probably number one. The other thing is fly.io. So if you want to jump into some Docker uh, imaging uh, or if you want to explore the Docker images that are out there for Pocket Base, you can pretty easily host with fly.io. Uh, it's probably the most developed pipeline for publishing Docker images. But again, you have to learn a, a whole, a whole skill set in order to get that up and running. So it may not be the best option for, for most people. What I use is fly.io, but I have my own deployment templates which I have set up for me to be able to quickly deploy. Yesterday I did a deployment and it was about 30 minutes for me to get the whole thing set up. If you're wondering how to get set up with Pocketbase in the future, I got a great getting started guide which goes through in about 20 minutes all of the different features that are there in Pocketbase and how you can just get up and, and running within a simple environment. Uh, in terms of if you're looking for deployment templates or Docker images, you can take a look at uh, Pocket Base Stripe. It's my own repo that I've set up and you've got a Docker image there which you can go and host on fly.io. It's not that hard to learn fly. It probably took me maybe six hours in order to get all of the knowledge that I needed to and to build that fly.toml file. But yeah, definitely worth it, guys. Uh, once you've got that information there, you'll be up and running with Pocket Base and you can even use Stripe in there as well. Thanks, bye.